Good morning guys. It has been such a hot minute since I have done a vlog and I thought today would be a fun day to vlog. I took the day off work. I'm getting my hair done and then I think me and Skylar are gonna go to the suburbs today. I almost said where but like I don't want to give like an exact location of where we live but we literally never get days off together so the fact that we're like getting a day off together is so nice and yes I am literally running to my hair appointment right now. It's literally a blizzard outside today um and I really 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 don't want to be late. Um I got her a little gift because she is having a little baby boy. This is literally my last hair appointment with my hairdresser until she has her baby and I have been going to the same girl for literally almost 10 years like since before I was 21. I think I was like 19 and I'm literally gonna be 27 this year so I've been with her for so long but she just does so good like once you find someone that works I don't want to change you know I don't want to switch up so I need to get these roots fixed so bad. You see those? Terrible. And then I'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, I'm home now and I'm on my actual camera because it's actually not dead. It's on 77%. Okay, it's always dead. I switched outfits because literally the back of my like shirt always gets so wet when I get my hair done. So I went ahead and touched up my makeup like around my hairline and changed my outfit. I'll show you guys. Hold on. I literally just don't mind the mess in the back. I literally had no time to get ready this morning. So I just threw everything everywhere, but I will clean it up later. Um, I got this cute little like um zip up from Prairie Mark. I loved the color and then this cute like one shouldered little sports bra and then just like black leggings from Amazon. But it's literally a blizzard. Like I would show you guys if I didn't like give away where I lived, but it's literally a blizzard outside. So we're gonna wait until it's like stopped snowing to see if we're actually gonna go to the city. But we're gonna go get lunch um at a cute like little bar out here first, and then hopefully by the time we're doing that, it'll be done snowing. And then we can go to the city. He really wants to go to the outlet malls and like shop for clothes. I was like, okay, period you're channeling me today and i don't know what i want to do i want to go to trader joe's i really want to go to trader joe's and whole foods i want to go to whole foods so i can try the berry cream whatever cake that everyone raves about because i've never had it and i feel like you don't need a celebration a holiday to get a cake just get the cake to get the cake right i'm gonna leave diana in her cage all day so my parents are actually gonna watch her if we end up going but here's a little pup date she's being crazy she's officially 12 weeks now guys she is 12 weeks old she is a full grown monster ow emphasis on the monster you don't bite mommy you don't bite mommy that's not nice where do you want to shop uh nordstrom rack you heard it here first guys he wants to shop at nordstrom rack I don't mind don't mind the fact that her toys are literally everywhere <laughs> she thinks the camera's a toy she like wants to attack it is that your sissy barking guys i'm sorry it's literal chaos she's like having a toddler that's why her toys are everywhere. Isn't that right, Miss D? Her and her sister have been getting along okay. This is literally how chaotic our house is 24 seven now since having both of them, it's nonstop. They want each other's toys. They want each other's bones, but they're, they're learning to love each other. Um, so we forgot that it March Madness just started and it's so loud in here and so packed during the day. So yeah. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but this food looks so good. She's already eating, but... So we just finished lunch, we picked up Miss Diana, her cage is what's rattling in the back and we're actually gonna drop her off at my parents' house because they said they'd watch her and I don't like leaving her alone during the day, like I just feel bad. Like I just wanna be with her 24 seven, like I just don't want her to be locked up and she can't free roam the house because one, Liza, but two, like there's just too much she can get into and she's so tiny, I'm scared something would happen to her. So we're gonna drop her off real quick and then we're gonna be on the road. Um, we're only gonna go about 45 minutes away so it's not too bad of a drive. Well, we made it to our strong rack and we're shopping. Um, I don't really have anything in mind, but we'll see what we find. These are literally the cutest pants I've ever seen, but they are a size five and that's the smallest size they have. I actually need a good pair of shorts and they have these Levi ones, but I don't know how I feel about black. I don't usually do black in general. I accidentally blacked out when Skylar walked away from me and I picked up all this and all those pants are mine too. I'm gonna try them on. They have good American, Chloe's brand, and I've never seen those, so hopefully they fit. Okay, I was really wishful thinking with these shorts from Good American. They're a double zero. I am not a double zero, but I mean they fit, but they're like in my crotch. And the shirt, I wanted to be like a baby tee, but it's kind of too loose, so I'm not really feeling this one either. I think I like the shirt, but I can't tell if these shorts are like too long. I don't know. They're the Levi 501s. They're not my normal size. They're like a size up, so it's the only thing they had, so I don't know if that looks a little funky. 
We have traveled next door to Dick's. He's looking for like work shorts now, golf shorts. We did buy some stuff. I'll give you guys a haul when we're all done. Okay, tell me this cup minus the bunny on it isn't giving love is blind. Oh my gosh. Guys, we made it to the motherland. We made it to Trader Joe's. Finally, I'm so excited. Like Skylar hates his life right now, but I'm buying everything in sight. I'm trying to have self-control, but I literally just want to pick up everything, especially in the sweet section. Oh my God. This one specifically is literally my weakness. I cannot get enough of this. Time for food number two. I might turn off the volume because I don't want to get copyrighted for this song. We are officially back home and I thought I'd do a little haul of everything we got at Trader Joe's because I think it's pretty good. I didn't get too much stuff. I didn't want to go too crazy. First thing I got, and it was so funny, I was actually thinking about these the other day, is these pine berries. They are so stinking good. These are like my favorite fruit ever. I also picked up some overnight oats. I got the peanut butter ones. Some of this Trader Joe's garlicky pasta. It just sounded really good. Sea salt chocolate chip cookies. Everything but the bagel nuts, which just sounded so good. Matcha mochi, if you know, you know. I have never seen this brand before, but it's Froze Balls. I got the caramel chocolate peanut butter ones. I thought that would just be like a good snack to have. Literally the best chocolate in the entire world. I, I'm obsessed with this chocolate. Everything elote dip, so good. Um, and then I got, oh my gosh, this just looked so good. It's the dark chocolate um, roasted pistachio toffee. That just sounded amazing. And then I also picked up mini almost everything but the bagel. Um, little crackers. I don't know. They just looked really yummy. And then I also just picked up some Trader Joe's fries. I'm going to get this stuff in the fridge because we had a long drive home. I actually really want to try these right now before I do anything else. This has been calling my name literally all night since I picked it up. Oh my god. Wow. This is gonna be so niche, but if you live anywhere in the Midwest, like Northern Illinois, Southern Wisconsin, if you and you've gone and you've gone to the Wisconsin Dells and you have gone to the Kalahari, they have a um like sweet shop in there. This tastes exactly like their toffee. And that would be my favorite thing to get every time. This is like amazing. Highly, highly recommend the dark chocolate roasted pistachio toffee from Trader Joe's. And we actually did end up purchasing some stuff from Nordstrom's Rack. So I'll show you guys quickly what we got from there. We each only got one thing. So I got these um, Good American Jeans. Oh my gosh, they are so stinking cute. These are like the best jeans I've ever... They make you look amazing. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, they're insane. I got um, a size 25. This is what kind they are. Highly, highly, highly... Ca cannot recommend enough. Oh my god. They... I've never had jeans look like this in my entire life. Get them. Just get them. They're a little pricey. They were like 64, originally 100, but so worth it. I'll just show you what Skylar got quickly. He's currently taking a shower. He just got these little like golf shorts. I don't know, just like little black shorts. I don't know what's called them. I think they're just golf shorts, but I'm gonna finish putting the food away and then we are gonna go and pick up Miss Diana. We did not pick her up yet because going all the way to my parents' house would be out of the way of coming here first. And we wanted to drop the food off so we could get it in the fridge. <laughs> almost 11 o'clock we just got back feeding Liza giving her a little midnight snack so it's a little loud I got a couple packages and I want to show you guys quickly what I got this was PR this is not something I ordered it is they asked me if they could send me it I know it's like coffee it's like oh my gosh it's like protein coffee it's from Truvani I think I'm saying that right yes yeah, so they sent me like four different like protein coffees and matchas oh and like a little um like recipe book if i want to make something out of these thank you so much that's so cute this package i have been waiting for waiting for this one guys it's a white box honey actually i'm gonna film a tiktok of it i'll be right back look what finally came in the mail 
my a white fox package i it's like 11 o'clock i'm so tired but i just saw that this was in the mailbox and i was like we have to open immediately i've been waiting for this one okay waiting i've been wearing one of their hoodies so bad and they're always out of stock finally got my hands on one. This is so stinking I can't. I'm obsessed. Obsessed with this color. It's like the blue and like peach one. I love it. Love it. 